Hi there everyone, it's Gary here, one of the Digital Boost Trainers. I'm going to give you a very quick demo, hopefully under 10 minutes, showing you how to use Shotcut, which as it says on the screen, is a free open source cross-platform video editor. Um, this is one of the most popular editors on the market right now. It's completely free. It's used by Windows and uh, Apple users alike. You can also use it on Linux. Um, very popular, especially since the demise of Windows um, Movie Maker, which used to be one of the free popular downloads. Now a lot of people are turning to Shotcut shortcut so let me quickly show you what it looks like let me bring up let me move my uh, browser away and let me bring up the shortcut uh, editor this is what it looks like um, so I've got the editor open again I'm going to give you just a very quick demo to give you a flavor of this and I urge you to take the time to go and investigate this in a lot more detail for yourself the first thing we need to do of course is bring in the source material so I'm on the source tab right now um, if I go to file open you can open up your individual clips my preferred way of doing it is simply to go to the folder that you're maybe storing them all in anyway so here we are here's a load of my video uh, clips clips. I'm probably not going to bring them all in because it will take too long to edit, but let me just bring in a few. Here's me um, walking down Paisley High Street, uh, and you can see straight away that when you do that and drag it in, it starts to play. So let me just pause that and bring back my folder of stuff. And um, What else have we got? We've got me walking up to the building, me coming in the door, um, and then let's just go and grab some of the ones of the attendees waving at me. Let's get that one, uh, this one, this one, a couple more. Um, let's go for a couple of group workshops and that will do. Let's go and drag them in and as you can see it should build up the, um, let me pause on this again, we've now got our source material that we're going to make our video from. So you, these can be as, as, as few and far between as you like. So what do we do? We start building the actual video. This is just the source material, we're now going to actually work with them. Let's drag in my first one and drop it onto what's called the timeline, this thing down the bottom. And you see it immediately creates if I just move this up a little bit so you can see it a bit easier maybe, it immediately creates a video track with uh, one item in it which is only now four seconds long, i.e. that one individual clip. If I grab the second clip and drag it on, drop it in, it adds it in. Yes, it does add this kind of strange little gap in here. Um, that's because I purposely dragged it in very much at the end of the track. If, uh, as I grab clip three, if I was to drop it too close to the clip in front, look, it's warning me that it's going to overwrite it so we want to be careful we don't do that otherwise we lose some of our clips so I normally just drag these in with lots of space in between it's a wee bit annoying but we're going to fix that in just a minute so let me just drag these in all of the clips nice and easily down into the video track at the bottom these are our source material clips which we're going to make a little movie from so what do we do we then uh, click into these kind of green areas, these gaps, and as you can see, if I was simply to play my video from here, go it would around play the here we go. with and we're all these with little wave. clips, you hear oh, me talking, yeah. it then goes to these gaps, it then goes to the next clip, you hear all the people talking, etc, etc. So let me right click in these gaps and hit remove, and you'll notice if I do it like that, it butts the other clips up nice and neatly against the, uh, the ones to the left. So I'm going to remove all the, the gaps, because I don't want them, um, and what we then have if I grab the playhead and take it right back to the beginning it now looks a bit like that um, okay so we're beginning to get there a um, few things I'd want to do first and foremost, I'd want to tighten up these little clips, there's, there's, for example here's me walking down Paisley High Street, that probably goes on far too long than it needs to, so one of the first things to introduce you to is the split tool, if you grab the playhead and drag it to where you want to, for example, start this movie, the, the opening clip as it were, I'll take it to there. If I then right click and use this split at playhead feature, or you can use the shortcut S, which is again nice to know if you're, you're frequently using this particular tool, then you can split it. What have you now got? It's now created two little clips for you. The one before the split and the one after the split. What I'm really going to do, I'm just going to take the one before the split and I'm going to right click and do remove. I'm, I've now started my opening clip at a better point. Um, let's go into the second clip 
again and just do a little bit of the same just to show you how about we start it there so I can right click and I can split and I can simply on my first part before the split I can right click and do remove and then maybe I want to finish this clip you'll see at the moment it finishes with me looking up at the sign I don't really want to do that it was a nice idea at the time but I, I want to just finish on the door so I'll take it to roughly there I'll right click and I'll split uh, which allows me for that second one to hit remove so then I go into my third clip and it's me going into the door that's quite a nice effect we'll leave that um, and then we've got the actual individual clips of all the people waving at me there's clip number one here's clip number two um, and what I'll maybe do is I'll maybe start this just a wee bit earlier just so that we're cutting out no offense to the lady to the left so if I split then I can click the first little bit. If you need to zoom in a little bit, you can. You can zoom in on your timeline to, to see more of your, your individual uh, clips, especially when you're splitting them. If I right click and remove that one, and then there's this, the lady who's waving at me. It moves into the gent there, giving me the thumbs up. So what I'm actually going to do is split it there. And if I split it, uh, there, I can then deal with this part differently. I, I'm actually not going to remove this one. What I'm going to do right. is take it to roughly here, up towards the gentleman. I'm going to split it. I'm going to remove the wee bit that I don't want, which is the kind of uh, the bit in between them. But this last clip of the nice thumbs up, what I'm actually going to use that for is I'm going to finish my video with that. It's a nice way to finish it, a wee thumbs up. So if I right click and do uh, um, cut, and then if I move right to the end, if I just drag my timeline right to the end, uh, I act and I'll go position it exactly there. If I now do Control V or Edit Paste or whatever, then let's put this chap in right at the end. A nice way to finish the video. So you can see already, even with one clip, I can split it into two and then move them about. I can change the order. I can put bits in the middle. I can tidy up, etc., etc. Um, right. What have we got? We've got a nice wee bit of. Um, let's scroll back a little bit. Here we have uh, audience member number one, number two. Moving on to number three, let's maybe start it there. So I split that, I get rid of the bit before and hit remove. I see this guy waving at me, it moves me nicely into the next lady who gives me a lovely wave. And maybe perfect, I'll move it to here. There's a quick view around the room. Um, let me pause it. Um, do you know what? We'll pause it there and we'll hit split. And again, I'll simply click and remove. And we'll just leave all of that in and fill. And it finishes with a nice wee wave from him. And then we've got some group work where they're all chatting away to one another. Maybe there's too much uh, group work there. It's kind of the same thing. So I'll tighten that up a little bit. I'll split it. I'll take the first one and I'll hit remove. There's the second one, a wee bit shorter, a wee bit better. There's the next little clip of again a bit of group work zooming into the computer to see what's on. And finishing with the thumbs up. Okay. That's pretty much what I'm going to do for my video. Now, in a real video, I would add a whole lot more to it. I would um, make it a little bit longer, uh, add in better bits of content. I'd maybe juggle the order of the content a little bit just so it wasn't all quite so linear. But again, just to demonstrate the principles to you. The next thing I'm going to do is play with the speed. Uh, this at the moment is a 42 second video. I want it to be a wee bit quicker, a wee bit nippier, a wee bit higher energy. So all I'm going to do is click on the individual uh, component parts in my video track. And if I simply click on properties up the top, you can see that for every one I click on, I get some properties. Speed is in there as one of the options. For this wee clip of me walking down the high street, I'm going to change the speed to twice the speed. Just click two and click enter. Um, notice what happens, you end up with a gap, of course you do because you're removing the length of that particular clip, you're not affecting the rest of the track. So what do I need to do? Again, unfortunately I need to right click and remove that. Into my second clip, let's also make this, uh, and again you can see what I'm talking about if I drag the cursor, drag the playhead, the bit where I'm going up to the door, let's click it, go into properties and change this to twice the speed as well. Enter, good to go, let's delete the gap. Uh, third clip, let's make it one 0.5 times the speed, one and a half. Why? Because I want to focus a wee bit more on, on the dough. I want, don't want to zoom past this quite so much. So actually what I really want to do is, is pause a little bit even more so on the logo so you can get a feel for the name of the building I'm entering just so you know exactly where I am. So what can I do? I can right click, I can split this. One is going at one and a half speed. The other one I'll change back to one speed to make it real time again. Um, 
and what I'll do, I will actually zoom forward just a little bit. How about slowing down even further on the actual sign? So let me right click and split. And now I take this second part where it's zooming in on the door. And just to show you this, I'm going to make this 0.5 speed. I'm going to actually shorten it a little bit. Um, and it makes it nice and slow, which means if I play it, so if I do a little bit of this, I play from the start, it's going twice speed, walking down the road quickly, walking up to the building quickly, going at normal speed up to the door, and then slowing right down as I go on to the logo. Which is kind of the recording, give me a smile and a wave. There and then go. I get nice little people waving over at me. Um, Thank you very much. I could speed these up, I could slow these down. And you're enjoying yourself. Thank I'll you very much. Leave them. You there can we play go, with your own around the room, here And we're going to finish what with a I wave. Do, oh, um, yeah. I'll let this just run towards the end and hit pause. The last little feature I'm going to use with regards to speed is with my gentleman to finish the workshop. So if I pause it here, and again I zoom in a little bit, let me just zoom to the end so you can see the thing I'm looking at. What I want to do is take it to here and right click split. I'll then take that clip and make it longer, i.e. Uh, play slower, I'll make it uh, 0 0.5, which should have it grow a little bit. There we go. So it's now going half speed, and I want to take it, how about right even to here and split it again and make that one. How about even slower again, 0 0.25 speed? Why? Well, just to really make an impact. So now the video is going to finish a little bit like this. It's going to have all the group work, all the chit chat, finishing with a lovely wee thumbs up uh, from our chap here. And it gets really slow because I've still got my audio on here, of course, so you can still hear the whole sound and everything slowing down. But that's a n nicer way to finish it. Um, okay. We're almost done. A few other things that I want to do. I want to consider some uh, opening title slides. So, what do I do? It's a little bit clunky, a little bit more difficult than it maybe needs to be, but I want to add in a, uh, some, some text. What you could do is I could simply click on the clip in question and I could add text to that clip. So if I click on, for example, the opening slide of me going down the street, we can go to filters and I can add a filter and if I go to video filters I can scroll all the way down and go to text and you can see by default it, it pastes on what's called the time code I'll simply give it a uh, walking down oh might help if I spell it right uh, walking down the street maybe your text can be a little bit more interesting than mine it's uh, spelled properly as well um, and if I just simply center that and I could grab that and you know we could put that wherever we want it we'll put it you know over here in the trees you get the point and what now happens well now when I play the little video um, if I just click off this and back and hit play uh, now it's in preview mode, so you're seeing the big box around it because I've still got my text selected, but the text is only appearing on that particular slide. Uh, that can be used quite well uh, occasionally. What I'm really going to do for the moment is I don't actually want it on my slide. I don't want the text there. Uh, I want it um, somewhere else. Where do I want it? I want it on an opening uh, black title slide. Now as I say, this is a wee bit more complicated than it needs to be. If I go into my... Um, my, my playlist, there's all my little clips. What I really want is a, is a black holding slide. So we can quickly make one of these. We can go into file, we can do um, open other which opens up a, again this is a little bit geeky but bear with me, we can create a colour generator, we can simply make it black, you can simply pick the colour if you want, or if you want a blue one or a purple one or whatever, let's just go for black and let's do OK and OK. What we've now got in the source of the project is a, a, a black title slide, a black empty slide, nothing on it. What I definitely want it to do is not be um, eight minutes long, which by default it's made it as. I'm going to drag this little slider and pull it right back down. And now it's, uh, as it says there, a four second black um, slide, uh, you know, frame. So with that selected, I can then do paste. And as it says, it will paste it into the current track, shifting everything else to the right. So if I click paste, what have I now got? I've now got an opening slide. So if I click on you know play the movie right now let's get rid of a bit of this just so it's out of the way um click here play the movie we've now got a black slide which it'll play for the four or five seconds which it was to be and then it'll go straight into me walking down the street 
So what am I going to do? I'm going to add my text to that. So I click it, I go up to my filters, I do add filter, I choose my text which is on here somewhere, there it's there. Again I'm going to not have the time code by default, I'm going to have a title which says a something along the lines of um, welcome to the making movies workshop something like that. That'll do. Maybe split it over two lines. That'll do nicely. If I center it and put it in the middle and then grab it and change the size, suddenly we've got a nice opening slide. Okay, that'll do. Um, which means if we then play this from the start, it looks like this. It Again, it says welcome to the Making Movies Workshop. It's across the whole black opening slide. It then goes into my uh, first screen. Okay, kind of what I'm after, but I'd like to tidy up just a little bit. Let me go in and um, start splitting some of this black slide. Why would I want to do that? Well, if I split it here, I've then got two bits of black slide, both of which have the text applied because I applied it to the whole thing. The earlier one, I'm going to turn it off which now means that when the video starts, it is simply a black slide, which when you play, the text then appears as it goes into the split. What I am going to do is actually do a bit of a transition between the black slide and the opening frame. So all I'm going to do to make a transition, transitions on shortcut are actually really simple. I quite like the way it, it, they do it. You simply pick up the uh, the clip in question and you drag it and overlap it with the previous one. And when you do that, suddenly as you'll see, yes it creates a gap which I can right click remove in just a minute, but you've now got this transition. Um, you can see it by the big kind of cross uh, that's now appeared. That means two clips are overlapping and therefore it, it, know, it needs to know how to hide handle the overlap. So what I can do is I can click on properties and if I click back and then back into the transition it's telling me that we've got a dissolve transition. What does that look like? Well let me just quickly show you if I click play it simply dissolves slowly from black screen into first frame um, rather than going very sharply from one to the other. If I click on my transition just to show you some differences and just I'll pick a couple of these very at random. If I go for the barn door vertical for example. Again what, what what does that look like? If I click play you'll now see it suddenly looks like a barn door vertical. If that's what a barn door vertical looks like. So that's the transition. For me most of the time I simply go with dissolve or something nice and simple so you get a nice smooth blurring between the, uh, the bits of content. Let me quickly tidy up and remove that gap. Uh, let me very quickly jump to the end. I'm going to top and tail this video so I now just want a little bit of a tail. I am going to go back to my source where I've still got my black slide ready to be pasted in. So because I've chosen the very end of the video, I can click on paste. I've now got a black slide towards the end. Uh, let's increase the length of that a little bit um, so that we can use it a little bit more. Bear with me. So there we go. It's a bit of a longer black slide to finish. Let's go to here and hit split. Why? So that I can take a bit of it and overlap it with the previous slide um, so that I can now click it, go into my uh, properties and again if I click it again you suddenly see we've got a dissolve. Let's just go for one of the barn door horizontals, that will do nicely. What does that mean? It now means the video finishes with a nice little thumbs up and should slowly fade in to the black slide. That's working perfect just as I want. Um, let's bump him um, up to the end and let's split it again in here, um, split, why? So that the last part I can add some text to, I go into my filters, I add a new filter, I go to my video filters and I add text and I'll just put nice and simple the end, <laughs> maybe you'll do it a little bit more uh, exciting than that. Let me just grab this and reduce the size a little bit, put it in the middle uh, and there we go, it's the end of the movie. Um, what am I actually going to do? I'm going to overlap this a little bit, um, bear with me, just so that we can put a little bit of a filter on this one. By default it will be a kind of cross filter. If I now play it all the way back from here, let me just move that out of the way, sorry, hit play, we now get this slow but sure, fades into black and then 
very quickly should fade in the text. Of course, it won't because I moved the text out of the way. <laughs> there we go. The end. Flies in. That'll do. You get the point. Uh, okay, that is pretty much us done with the movie. A couple of things I want to do just to finish it off and then we're sorted. First thing is, as you've already heard, as I'm playing you this in preview mode, you're hearing all the background noise. You're hearing all the people talking. You're hearing um, all the all the you know the, 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 the attendees chit-chat. You're hearing the door open, etc, etc. We don't want that. Our style of video here that we're making is a silent movie. It's not quite, but we'll get to that in a minute. I want to blank all of the audio very, very quickly. All I do is on the video track that's on the screen right now, I click on mute. And suddenly, trust me, if you want me to play it, I will. There we go. It is now a silent movie. Uh, as it goes down the street, as it goes through the door, as we see all the people chatting, etc., there is now no more audio. Why? Because I've turned off the audio to the entire track. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is I do want to bring in a bit of an audio soundtrack. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click File Save because I'm always paranoid about, let me just save this and just call it Gary. I'm always paranoid about losing these things halfway through. So there we go, we're, we're saved. Um, we are going to go to one of my favourite places for getting uh, nice little royalty free soundtracks. We're going to go to this thing called Ben Sound. So there it is, bensound.com. They've got loads of little royalty free tracks. Uh, I'll let you download and explore some of these yourself. I've already downloaded one so let me go to my folder which contains it um, so there's my folder there my mp3 before I do that bear with me I need somewhere to put it so where you put it is first and foremost you put it into your source and into the playlist you need to drag it in here first of all before you can use it so let me simply go and grab my mp3 and drop it into the source one of the things you will hear is that it starts to play immediately as anything does when you drop it into the source what I'm then going to do is put it into my project, but I need somewhere to put it, I need an audio track. This is a video track, it's already got an audio that, that I've turned off, but it's got one nonetheless. If I right click in here and do add audio track, and then click that so it becomes green, you'll see that we've now added, an, a, 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 at the moment, silent audio tracks. It's going to make no difference to my project. Um, if, however, I take my MP3 and I simply drag it into that track, we now have the audio pasted in. Now, as you can see, uh, it was a one minute or oh, let me let me just uh, hopefully that noise is driving you crazy. Let me drag drag it to really the end of the track. Let's maybe go about there. Let's right click and split the audio track so that I can delete the bit I don't need to use. Right click, remove. Now we've got an audio track lasting exactly the length of the um of, of the the bit of uh, audio itself and the last thing i might want to do is add a little filter to that and add a filter to the audio track so i'll go into my audio filters and i'm simply going to go for a fade out uh, and we'll go for a um let me just get this right if i do a three second fade out i think that should be it that should hopefully fade it out over three seconds let's just have a, a bit of a check on this and hit play <laughs> Okay, hasn't quite worked, but I'll fix it later on. You get the gist. That's the, pretty much the video done. If I grab this and put it right to the start of the movie, and if I go to a little bit of um, show you more of this in preview mode, uh, I'm going to hit save to save this, but that's us done. We've created a, a, a video made up of different clips. We've tightened those clips up by using the split feature. We've sped some up, we've slowed some down. We've added in a title at the start, a title at the end, some text. We've added in a couple of transitions. We could have gone crazy and added in a whole load more between all the clips. Uh, we've muted the whole thing and then added a soundtrack. And the end result, albeit you'll see it in preview mode here, I will also upload so that you can view it, the final version of the video in all its glory. We now have a lovely little video made in Shotcut to promote this workshop.
I made a wee mistake there on the end text and on the fade out, but I'd go back in and fix them, as will you. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. That's how to use Shotcut. I'd like to give a little bit of a thank you to all of the people at the Paisley Workshop who let me film them and let me use them in this video that they knew would be shown to many other people when uh, they themselves were learning about making videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Gary, one of the Digital Boost trainers. Take care.